Hey, what's happening, y'all? Brand new Rico report. Just a few things to talk about. Landon Collins is confirmed to be playing safety. We're going to talk about that a little. And also a few guys that we have signed today as well. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's get it. All right, so first of all, former Raiders defensive end Jeremiah Villaga is scheduled to visit us this week. Was a high-risk opt-out for the 2020 season waived by Las Vegas in March. He was an undrafted free agent for the Detroit Lions in 2017. Then he was on the Dolphins in 2018. He was on the 49ers in 2019. And he was on the Raiders also since 2019, 2019, 2019 through 2020. And he was a practice squad player for the Dolphins. But the Lions, 49ers, and Raiders, he was actually on the roster. And just to let you know, he's six foot six, 275. So they're definitely trying to get some size. His birthday is really close to mine too. He was born November 15th, 1994. 15 days away from me. But they're definitely trying to get somebody with some size for some dependable edge rusher depth. Because, again, I think Shaka Tony's going to move to, like, Sam Linebacker, like I spoke about in my 53-man roster prediction. So be on the lookout for him. Also, the Burgundy and Gold went ahead and signed former Chiefs tight end Deion Yelder. And he was an undrafted free agent signed by the Saints in 2018. And then he went to the Chiefs. And all he did was be on the practice squad. So he ended up on the Chiefs from 2018 through 2020. I mean, I guess you don't get much time to show what you can do when you're behind Travis Kelly. So this is interesting. He's six foot four, 255 pounds. And the tight end room is interesting because we have Logan Thomas, who we know is our tight end one. John Bates, who's a good blocker. And I think he's underrated in the pass catching game. Definitely has better hands than people give him credit for. And he's not like explosive like Travis Kelsey, but he's definitely fluid out there. Not expecting a lot of yards out the catch, but I think he has enough burst to get open and to make plays and again his contested catch ability is pretty good definitely a developmental guy in the passing game but they want a, a good blocker we already have samus reyes who may be like a one two year project it depends and then now we have Dion yelder added into the mix so it's really interesting to keep track of marcus ball tamarick hemingway Tyron Swoops, who was a former quarterback, and Dylan Cantrell, a former receiver. Just a few guys there, but really nobody we can depend on yet except for Logan Thomas and maybe John Bates. Luckily for us, tight ends coach Pete Honer has worked with Greg Olson, Vernon Davis, Delaney Walker, and he's the one that took Logan Thomas, was drafted as a quarterback, and turned him into as good of a tight end as we've seen. Remember how raw and not good he looked in the beginning of the season and then how by the end of the season how much we liked him p honer deserves a lot of credit for that also scott turner for getting up for scheming him open and things like that so we have to give p honer the benefit of the doubt when getting his guys because we've seen us develop a lot of guys at different positions mainly tight end and then they also went and signed cornerback Lyndon stevens he was an undrafted free agent signed by the saints in 2018 and then he was just on their practice squad then the rams practice squad and the broncos practice squad all in 2018 then the seattle seahawks practice squad in 2019 then he was on the active roster of the miami dolphins and then back to the seattle seahawks on their active roster and this is all since 2018 he's a six foot 193 pound corner and not loving anybody i've spoken about today's odds of making the team but they're interesting names to keep track of and will definitely be involved in these off-season workouts and programs never know might find a gym in them i still say we need to go get trey boston but we'll see it worries me about the fact that like if they feel like he's good enough to be our true free safety they probably would have signed him by now i'm not exactly sure what they're waiting on i don't know if they want to pay him and then one of these guys like saint just or jeremy reeves ends up developing into a really good free safety and now they feel like they wasted money on trey boston i don't know but it's really interesting to keep track of. And it's also interesting to know that we have 91 roster spots because David Bada is part of the International Pathway Program. So most teams have 90 spots, but if you have an International Pathway Program player, you technically have 91 because he's taking up that 91st spot. And we still have two roster spots open. I hope it's Trey Boston and maybe another... I mean, we got enough receivers, got enough quarterbacks, maybe another offensive lineman or, you know, another free safety. Hey, man, bring in Malik Hooker and Trey Boston. That's what I... I say i think that's literally like the biggest weakness on our team future quarterback and free safety go get two of them add them to the mix because right now jeremy reeves is technically our only projected free safety and even him i'm worried about him starting 
let alone the depth behind them there's really none there yet and then lastly the big announcement Landon Collins will play safety he's not moving the linebacker Jack Del Rio clarified that today and even stated that Landon Collins has lost weight so that he could play safety like there's no chance I mean granted he does his best work in the box so I do assume that he'll be working in the box quite a bit but if he's losing weight they want him to play relatively deep coverage occasionally and I'm definitely very worried about that I mean there were so many plays last season but I vividly remember the D hop play where he was just lost in the sauce it was clearly his zone the number one receiver on the team how do you lose track of him so I'm worried about this idea I honestly am but I'm gonna have to keep giving Jack Del Rio the benefit of the doubt I have to trust him Rivera Scott Turner and a lot of these guys because they've been getting the most out of guys and even when I've questioned things it's ended up working out for the better in the long run so I'm assuming there's a plan behind this but honestly I'm a little skeptical early I'm not gonna lie but it's really interesting I mean first of all has he recovered from his injury I mean you can look at this video right here where he's running and I mean it looks straight but I don't think if we had a game tomorrow he would be able to play so we'll have to see if he'll be ready by training camp if he'll be ready by week one of the regular season we'll see I mean the fact that he can run is encouraging but can he take hits can he deliver hits most importantly we'll see but yeah man definitely get in the comment section and let me know how you feel about the Landon Collins situation how do you feel about all of these guys that we've recently signed definitely get in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation this Landon Collins thing scares me but we'll, we'll see we'll, <laughs> we'll see but man as always man I appreciate all of the support coming with endless content day after day after day at least a video a day maybe two or three depending on what's going on film sessions for all of the guys we drafted including undrafted free agent Jared Patterson so stay tuned for all of that man and of course man I appreciate all of the support man catch y'all later I'm out